Pelicans expect Zion Williamson to be back before the end of the regular season. Now, this season has obviously been a disappointment for the Pelicans as we thought they were going to take that step to contention. But I don't think it's necessarily a disappointment because it's injuries and you can't, like injuries are unpredictable. But I saw a stat the other day so far, Zion's averaged 28 and a half games since entering the NBA. But they're expecting him to return before the end of the regular season. Hit that like and subscribe button, guys. We just hit 10,100 subscribers on the way to 20,000 now, guys. So speaking of a team that if everything aligns, the Pelicans could really turn it around and be a threat in the playoffs. New Orleans, if they manage to secure a playoff spot, and if Zion Williamson is back on the floor by the time they hit the playoffs, then it's worth remembering that this team was third in the NBA Western Conference before he went down with a hamstring injury in early January. But, you know, that's a lot of ifs and if my aunt had balls she'd be my uncle while the pelicans announced on wednesday that zion williamson would be re-examined in two weeks a source with knowledge of the situation said that the team is still expecting him to be ready before the end of the regular season when it comes to injury recovery there is perhaps no more unpredictable player in today's nba than zion williamson nonetheless significant hope remains that he'll be healthy in time to be a late game changer as that as if that's not enough to navigate, former All-Star Brent Ingram left Wednesday's win over Dallas in the first half with a sprayed ankle. Ingram has already endured plenty of injuries this season, missing nearly two months with a big toe injury earlier this season, telling the Athletics' Will Guillory that he was in a dark place during that time. The Pelicans with Zion Williamson are 23-14 and 14 through January 2nd. Ingram missed 22 of those games those games with zion just by himself they were 114.7 in offensive rating that's eighth best in the nba 110.3 defensive rating sixth best a net rating of 4.4 which would put them in fourth and in those 29 game stretch zion williamson averaged 26 points at 61 percent almost from the field seven rebounds and about five assists now in the games without zion williamson there are nine and 20 all right and Ingram missed 13 of those games. They are 26th in offensive rating at 111.3, 115th in defensive rating at 17th, and minus 4.3 net rating at 26. Since January 25th, when Ingram returned, they are 6 and 12. Ingram played in all but two of those games. And I think it's it's interesting to see that is this going to be a team that. Zion, can he turn it around? And I think it's it definitely interesting to see how this all plays out because I I definitely, in my opinion, this is a good team and they have the talent. It's all about being able to put it together. So will Zion return in time for the postseason? And will that be enough to save this team's season? That right there is the big old if. And I'm just a guy who just wants to see Zion play, all right? It's Zion Williamson. He's one of the most exciting guys in our league. And if you're like me, we just want to see the guy play. Nothing more, nothing less. So hopefully this leads to Zion returning and us being able to see the man that is Zion Williamson, who himself is such a fun to watch. Um, like, again, it's just, Kenny, Kenny put it all together, we shall see, I'm gonna head out guys, peace out, that's gonna be the video, like, comment, subscribe, and, yeah, I think it's, it's definitely an interesting situation to see, and, Yeah, like, I'm going to peace out, but I want to hear your opinions on anything else that I might have missed, but goodbye, everybody. Have a great day, but peace.